Whoa. Uh, <laughs> I weighed this thing before I started recording, and she weighs a little over a kilogram. I think you could murder someone with this. <laughs> anyway, sketchbook tour. This is from the sketchbooks I started numbering. Sketchbook number four, because I didn't used to number my sketchbooks before this. Uh, this is a Uhuhu mixed media pad. I really like the paper in this. I just, I prefer it a bit, bit smaller. I prefer it a bit smaller. This took a, this took a while. This took like four months, I think. Um, yeah, let's just get into it. This book is very much still, as you can probably see by the cover, D and D brain rot, D and D and Baldur's Gate. It's most of this book, <laughs> especially D and D, because my current campaign is getting spicy. Anyway. Sketchbook 4, there's some content warnings here, but I don't think any of them ended up actually applying because I didn't draw them in here, but I'd like to put them in there just in case. That's another Drawfee sticker. That's a sticker from a zine I worked for, for the Dragon Ball Fusion zine too. This is an insert from the Japanese uh, Dragon Ball Superhero box set, because of course I have that. Um, yeah, and the first page is just... A finished piece for once. It's a marker drawing of Virgil because I wanted to test out the ooh marker that I ordered with the sketchbook. Let me tell you, I'm not using my Copics again after this, even though I have like 90. These ooh who ones are so much nicer. <laughs> Prefer these so much more. Oh. Uh, here I started making a Sento San, which is one of my mutuals. Uh, original. Sane species, but I never finish them. <laughs> yeah, I might, I might come back to her at some point. To them, yeah. misgendering my own OCs is starting well. I'll, I'll get probably get back to them at some point. Uh, this is a character I bought from someone, and I turned him into a D and D character, because that's what I've been doing with most of the characters I buy. He's a uh, drow ranger, and he's a bastard. <laughs> he's a little fucker. Uh, it's my gift Yankee to have Arl. She's so silly. I love my silly. Um, another character I bought. She's a feral tiefling bard slash monk, aka acrobat, who will punch your lights out if you're mean to her. Uh, here's a growl, because sometimes I just have to draw my wife again as a treat. Here is uh, D&D Roche, who popped up in the other sketchbook a couple times. As you can probably see, there's like a bit of smudging. One of the reasons I don't like, I want it to be done with this sketchbook is because the pencil I use in this smudges so much. And I don't think it's just me using very soft pencil lead. I think it's this paper. <laughs> anyway, here's a Nanami. Because my friend was threatening to drag me back into JJK. This is my Hagspawn Tiefling Brawn. And these are both from a... Uh, when I tried making an uh, anime journal, and I gave up after putting two series in there. <laughs> but I still like those, those are pretty. So they're, they're in here now. There's more Brawn. I can't believe I finished this entire sketchbook, and I still haven't made a final reference for Brawn. Also have not found a table yet to play Brawn at, so... Looks at you intently. Um, let me at your D&D table, I promise I'm good. Uh, anyway, <laughs> more d, &D Roche, uh, Dante, and Shiro, his adoptive robot son, my sillies. Uh, Virgil, before I finalized his armor design, it got incredibly smudged. Both of these pages got really smudged. Um, Himeno, these are both sketches for commissions. That's uh, thumbnails for a Molly Mock drawing that I also have not started yet. I put a lot of concepts in this book and I never, never quite went through with any of them. Uh, there's some D&D &D notes up there because I started using this sketchbook to keep my D&D &D notes in too. Um, there's Ophelia, who I still, I still haven't figured out how to draw dragonborns. It's a pain. <laughs> I can't draw dragons. Why are they shaped like that? 
Uh, this is a character who later ended up turning into an adoptable, who I didn't sell but kept for myself instead because I liked her that much. There's a little chibi dirge. There is uh, my D&D girly Elsa's patron Morgan. Uh, there's some knots, and there's- I think these are kind of ugly. These are like medieval manuscript style drawings of Virgil and some random creature. Don't like them that much. I really don't. A little Christmas page, because it was around Christmas and I was wrapping presents, and I had some cute wrapping paper I wanted to stick in there. This is a print from another project I worked in. Um, I worked on the Dragon Ball Sexy Men calendar. <laughs> I got the draw shirtless Hato. <laughs> <laughs> Giggles and kicks my feet. Um, there's a little little mott in a, in a wreath. Just some blocks with random characters on them. There's Juan, Dante, Julian, and Marin. Uh, an historian piece I wanted to follow up on, but also uh, never really ended up finishing. <laughs> I've been I've been slacking on digital art aside from commissions. Whoopsie. Um, an old drawing of the spot I got from a sketchbook I didn't like and just cut all the drawings I liked out of so I didn't have to use it anymore. And it's just a moth in a fancy outfit. I keep forgetting the glue this back in. Alright, <laughs> just stay there. Uh, the random creature, random character in a Kodomi outfit. This is Dante, Shiro, and Eros again. I keep trying to fix things about their designs, but nothing keeps working out. Not in this entire sketchbook. <laughs> they they mean a lot to me, so I want to get them right. Uh, there's uh, Eleanor, one of my other tabs. He also goes through a couple outfit redesigns. I like this one, but this one ended up looking too much like uh, another tabs outfit, so I didn't end up going with this. These are two stickers I made. Uh, I actually drew these at Christmas dinner because they left me alone with a sheet of paper and a pen. <laughs> There's uh, Else, Julian, another Else, Eleven Morgan, and another Else. There's so much Else in this book. She's been she's been giving me so much art energy. Here, here's more Else. I got some really cool neon uh, Posca markers for Christmas. And I'm upset because they never show up properly on my scanner or on photos because they're so bright. They're so bright. Um, more else. Uh, Virgil inspired by a post I saw on Pinterest. This keeps coming loose. This is a print I got with the sticker order. I have not played, uh, is this, this one's Final Fantasy. Which one of the Final Fantasies was the MMO again? I forgot, I haven't played it yet. Um, these are just the Baldur's Gate characters as those little, those little uh, meme creatures. Because I saw them on Twitter and I love them so much. <laughs> uh, a Gaia, some figure drawings, and some, some strawberries. Uh, this is some more old art I wanted to stick in here. I've been going through old sketchbooks again and scavenging uh, the few pages I did. Sticking them in here so I can like use them as a fresh start, which... One of them is actually my current sketchbook, if I can grab it. I'm so prepared! <laughs> one of them actually became the sketchbook I started after this one, which is this one. Anyway, um, so yeah, there is a Champa, a Capybara, a Queen Calliope, one of my Saiyan OCs, my Street Fighter OC, K, uh, Nepeta. Because <laughs> this one was old enough that there was fucking Homestuck fan art in there. Uh, my my boy, David, aka Ragdoll, aka I scavenged him from my creepypasta days. <laughs> uh, a d, d character I'm working on, his name is Kahara. He's inspired by those, like, retro uh, RPG protagonists that only wear, like, a tunic and no pants. Because I think they're really cute and pretty. <laughs> He's like a chosen hero type of deal. He's a college of swords bard. He's also, he also has like a sleeper build, so he's like a little twink, but he's really strong and I think it's funny. Um, more else. This is little baby else before all the trauma. This is just else being angry because she's angry a lot. Uh, 
is Captain Purbosa, my One Piece OC, because I think I was watching live action One Piece with my friends around this time, but I could be wrong. I have no concept of time anymore. Um, <clears throat> a little moth OC, I think her name was Coco, I haven't drawn her in a while. The fox form of one of my druids, just a bunch of hooves. Uh, all brawn, all bronze hooves, because because I want to draw him more, and I don't know, I'm not that great at drawing animal legs. Uh, <laughs> it's Catboy Historian. I'm surprised there's not more Historian in this book, if I'm being honest, because he's still my number one brain rot at the moment. <laughs> so there's Catboy Historian, some random paws. There's Don. Don my my beloved. He's my tactician mode tab, which I'm halfway I'm like just starting act three on that playthrough. So it's starting to get so close to the end. And I I have trouble saying goodbye to my tabs. Because I did finish um my main playthrough on Virgil and I cried for an hour. <laughs> I am very normal about Baldur's Gate. <laughs> so normal. This is more old art. Uh, this is from a specific sketchbook where I was doing a lot of Good Omens fan art. I think that was also, I think that was also this one. I was doing Good Omens Inktober, but I gave up on day like fifteen. <laughs> I was very busy with college at the time, so I cut out the ones that I like and I stuck them in here. There's also, uh, I think that's sixteen cents stuck in here. <laughs> I made this page at like midnight and I just stuck them in here for no reason because they were on my desk. Uh, so yeah, there's a bunch of good omens. Ah, uh, Yamcha! I really like how this Yamcha turned out. I should finish it. Uh, more DD notes. Another Dawn. Because of the fucking uh, My Little Pony infection I used thing, I felt like drawing one of my old MLP OCs again. I've had her since I was like. 16, I think? I got interrupted, and then my phone shut off, and then the weather outside decided to be more cloudy, so the colors are gonna look off. I swear the universe has something against me recording these sometimes. <laughs> anyway, horse. Horse. Uh, I drew some more historians. Drew him looking like a real wet cat. Because Wet Cat Historian is my favorite. And there's another Historian, like, Lanjin. And, um... I don't like Has Been Hotel. But I started an Alistair redesign out of spite. I don't like how he turned out. I think I could have done better with the shapes. But I wanted him to actually have a 30s, like, clothing silhouette. Because what he's wearing in the show is not... It's not 1930s, is it? <laughs> yeah, uh, don't expect any has-been art from me unless y'all really pester me to redesign these guys, which I doubt you will. Uh, there's a chibi historian. There's my Pokemon trainer, Sona. Uh, also just named Dean, because I'm very creative. And his Mawile, Ace, who is just a little silly. And this is uh, a Pokemon drawing from another sketchbook that I ripped out because I didn't like the paper on the sketchbook. I think this is the, the drawing that killed my red Posca marker. <laughs> yeah, I really like this one. It's just a bunch of my favorite Pokemon. Well, again, another something you just have to draw sometimes as a treat. Uh, more old art. More older art. This is before the art style switch, as you can tell by the round heads. Uh, some Taros. These are from one of my... Art school sketchbooks. This is another one of my tabs. Her name is Puck. There's something wrong with her brain, and it's not just a tadpole. <laughs> She's not a dirge. She does murder a whole lot. <laughs> She's just a little fucked up. Uh, here's a Caleb Critical Role. Because... Still watching that. I I'm incredibly slow. Still in an episode 20 of Campaign 2, and I've watched half of the Vox Machina animated show. Started watching the second season, though, so I will be caught up soon. 
<laughs> I just have to be in a very particular mood to watch it, but I do really love Critical Role. More horse. Another one of my My Little Pony OCs. This is Firefly. He's Ribbon Rose. This the other OCs. Uh, horse Husband. <laughs> Yippee. Uh, there is another Astarian and Virgil. They are incredibly moon and sun coded in the way you wouldn't expect them to be. <laughs> uh, okay, so I, I got a. <laughs> I got a Astarian body pillow. <laughs> So I wanted to draw a matching Virgil body pillow. And none of you are gonna believe me that I'm normal. <laughs> <clears throat> there is uh, Marin. Just some Marins with a whole bunch of scrap. This page turned out being more scrap than I would have liked. But that's fine. Uh, there's a trend going around on TikTok of like how your tav would greet people if they were a companion and again i still need to finish this because i keep scribbling in this book and not finishing anything uh with virgil i think even if you're at the lowest uh, approval with him i don't think he'd be straight up mean because he's not that kind of guy i think he'd just like not really pay attention to you like straight away just like ignore you a little in favor of like people he does like more um yeah, and he becomes friendly really quick Cause uh, he's he's just a sweet guy, just a sweet guy. Uh, some more MLP. Uh, there's Twilight, a Pinky, Rainbow Dash, and Fluttershy. Here's a, a Dungeon Meshy OC. I started but haven't finished yet. I need to get better at finishing things. Yeah, <laughs> he's like a an elf gourmet who like has no business being down in the dungeon. But he also just wants to taste some monsters. Also, I, I might ship him with Senshi. <laughs> Senshi's my favorite. Uh, you have another else on an extremely bright page because I covered the entire background in those uh, neon Posca markers. And I'm still sad that my scanner cannot pick them up because this would have been so cool digital. <laughs> uh... I got this sketchbook with the intention intention of drawing more marker drawings. I think this and the one all the way at the front are the only two I ended up doing. Why am I like this? Uh, so this is an older OC Tay. I just had there were a lot of pretty purples in this pack, so I wanted to draw him. Some more Dantes, because I'm still figuring him out. This is this is more DD notes. Um, oh, oh, I'm excited about this. I actually just started working on a digital version of it. I know, I'm actually finishing shit. Um, this is my... So I, I, my main fandom was Dragon Ball for like three years, and then my D&D fixation started again. So I want to do a Dragon Ball D&D AU, which has probably been done before, but I don't care. Uh, and this is my... Of course I had to start with my Blorbo, my number one baby. This is my little Hato. He's a gnome artificer slash sorcerer. I really want to play around with the necromancy thing because I feel like we gloss over the fact that Hato can just reanimate corpses too much. <laughs> so yeah, I'm so excited to work on this AU more. And I like I like to think that he has like like necrotic scarring on his hands from using his magic so much in an experimental way. I'm going to add so much spice to this. <laughs> I'm going to... I'm about to turn this man into my OC and I don't care. Um, here were my first attempt at doing designs for the Gammas for that AU. They are Warforged fighters. But I don't like this look. And for the final design, I'll probably end up... Um, giving them suits of armor on top of all of this. Like, having them kind of look like dolls underneath. And I'm just having them wear a big suit of armor. I think that would be cool. That could, would really sell, like, the robot bit. And, like, also heroic, because knights are supposed to be heroic. It's like a quick thumbnail for a piece I wanted to do with these guys, which I didn't. Uh, some Julians I drew at work. And some more Julians. And a bunch of scrap, because uh, one of my friends uh, sent me a bunch of stickers. And these were, like, business cards and stuff that came with it. This is more scrap from those stickers. It was on top of a blind bag, which was, like, such a smart idea. 
I don't want to steal it, but like, it's a very smart idea. There's another chibi historian. Uh, I think I drew this else at work as well. And there's another owls. Pardon me. Uh, these are thumbnails for an animatic I wanted to do of our uh, current campaigns party. But again, another thing I started and <laughs> never finished. Uh, I'm terrible. More D&D notes. <laughs> this session was a, a little wild. <laughs> the else I drew during the session. Uh, this is my OC Crow. Not a has been o not a has been hotel OC. I feel like he'd get confused for a has been hotel OC, but he's not. He's just a demon dude. <clears throat> uh, another non fandom OC, uh, Sebastian. I have this uh, species of like angelic battle androids who are like living dolls, specifically made to fight in a war, and he's like the perfect one of them. He's like the Archangel's second hand. I will make a fucking OC lore dump video one of these days and y'all will... I will be unstoppable. <laughs> Even more D&D notes. A uh, little RO. Another little RO. Uh, this is my current Roblox avatar. Because <laughs> I really like the new body types. And I made this cute little moth guy with them. I mostly play Pet Simulator, because <laughs> it's such a excellent game to zone out to. Uh, this is an anime figure I saw on Pinterest, and this is my beloved Joke Mary Sue OC, Princess Ichigo Nightshade. <laughs> she has actual fans. <laughs> she has people who simp for her, and I think that's wonderful. <laughs> I think that's wonderful that we can all just agree to like a cringe fox girl. Uh, there's another Virgil. Virgil again. Another piece I want to furnish digitally. I'm gonna say that a lot. Uh, Chibi Astarian. Uh, Virgil as a big dog and Astarian as a cat. Because they have cat and dog energy. Um, designs for Virgil when he's a little bubby before the trauma. And a design for him... When he was still an Oath of Vengeance Paladin instead of an Oath of the Ancients Paladin. I should make a Virgil lore video so y'all can actually understand what's going on. <laughs> so much lore for silly game character. Uh, is Spotify recent favorites? And... <laughs> I, have the most, I have the most embarrassing crush on Scanlan. <laughs> I have the most embarrassing crush on Scanlan. I don't want to talk about it. Um, I did end it up, I did end up making a digital piece of this for once, and, um, Liam, Liam O'Brien saw it. Liam O'Brien liked it on Twitter, so, <laughs> oh, I can't believe the cast actually saw it. was my first finished fan art. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Some more older art. These are my Unicorn Wars OCs. That's Goldie. June and more. <laughs> I started saying what the nine hells unironically do. Yeah, I did. <laughs> the Baldur's Gate fixation is still crippling. That's me. It's me, my little guy. I got I got this sweater, which is the uh, Caduceus sweater. Uh, I haven't even met him in the campaign yet, but I saw this sweater, and it's just the most me core clothing item I've ever witnessed. So I had to get it. And I've been assured that I'm either like Caduceus or that I'm gonna really like him. So I got it. I also got my I also got Scanlan dice, cause <laughs> this little fucking shit has been on my mind <laughs> so much. Uh, another older drawing, Enki from Fear and Hunger, and D D notes. For the, the session that emotionally fucking ruined me and uh, left us on a cliffhanger for three weeks because one of her players couldn't be there. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Finally got to continue that campaign tonight. I am ready to get emotionally wrecked again. I was not okay. <laughs> it was not okay. They brought up my character's trauma specifically and had a horrible twist. 
I love I, I love my DM, but he's a fucking bastard sometimes. <laughs> uh more historians. I saw this I saw this one of him in pretty armor on Pinterest and I had to draw it. Uh I got some cheap paint at work. And my intention was to make an historian piece with it. But the paints were so bad that I didn't couldn't get myself to make a whole piece with it. They're so translucent. I can't work with something that translucent, dude. Okay, this is um, more older art. These are some... I can't even get in the frame. These are some, like, Happy Tree Friends Gajinka designs. And I couldn't decide which side I wanted to... I like more. So I stuck it in here like this so I could look at both of them. Uh, I drew my... This is one of my old Animal Crossing mayors. And then, uh, I remembered Milky Way and the Galaxy Girls, so I drew a whole bunch of characters from that. Because I thought they'd look cute in my style. We have the moon, we have Mercury, Mars, uh, Venus and Saturn. And then I really, I really love this page. I think it turned out so cute. It's a bunch of doodles of Dawn. Because I'm getting... I'm dangerously close to getting just as uh, obsessed with him as I did with Virgil. That is... Uh, that is dangerous. That means my ending of my tactician playthrough is also gonna wreck me emotionally. <laughs> can you tell him... <laughs> can, you can you tell him not neurotypical? <laughs> uh, okay. Now, everyone who lives in the Netherlands and Belgium just figured out where I work. Uh, <laughs> anyway, we had a creative challenge at work, and my boss made me uh, the leader of that. So I made these uh, little advertisement cards. I stuck them in here. This is one of my old demon characters, Theodore, who could also very well be accused for being a husband hotel OC. <laughs> Or if Haspen had come out while I was 14 and on Tumblr, I would have eaten that shit up. Um, but now I don't, because I'm an adult. Um, <laughs> there's some more Dante's. Whole, like, rewriting Dante's basic description. Pause if you want to read it, because I won't read it out loud. Um... Lady Gaia. Uh, in the universe, Dante is from. There's like these four big leader characters. I think I mentioned them in the previous sketchbook before, and I want to give them design overhauls as well. Cause Gaia's previous outfit was just like one solid color. It looked like a draped sheet. That's not fitting for someone who like rules like a fourth of the world. So I wanted to fix that. Uh, again, pause if you wanna if you wanna read that. Cause I am not reading it. Um, this is Aaron, the Devourer, the, another one of those leader characters. He also gets a bit of a redesign, because I, I don't know, I just didn't fuck with the old one. Didn't look regal enough, so I did that. Uh, these are, these are, uh, sketches for my Astarian keychain. Uh, I didn't get it in time for this video, but the package with it did ship, and I might have pre-orders open for these soon. I'll make a, a post about it if I do. Yeah. Finally got some energy to make merch again. Yippee. Um, this is a Raleigh. I mentioned them in the other in the other sketchbook as well. My gnome artificer. Who makes... Uh, it fucked up for me. Yippee. <laughs> uh, it, okay, a bunch of these pages are gonna be anatomy practice. And I like dressing my anatomy practice up as my OCs. Because I think too much about my OCs. Um, yeah, that's Eleanor, Els, and Arl. There's more Eleanors, bunch of Eleanors. Every time I keep drawing him, he turns, he becomes more twinky. He becomes, he becomes skinnier. He becomes more of a little bastard. He was thrown into the lake when he was six. Hmm, <laughs> <laughs> drow society. Um, there's Els. One of my newer tabs who I haven't drawn before, uh, Etoile. She's my Shadow Heart Romance, of, and of course, Shadow Heart Romance is not complete without making your character a cleric of Saloon. 
works. Why would you not want that tension? Um, another RL. I started. I attempted to start a 100 heads challenge. I made it halfway, and then I got bored. <laughs> and I didn't use this as, like, um, a way to get better at realism. I did it as a way to practice translating more realistic designs into my style. Yeah. So I started with the Chosen chosen of the Dead Tree. Death Tree. It's Orin, Gordash, and Ketherick. Like how these two turned out? I did Ketherick dirty. I'm sorry. Oop. Knocked my tripod. I did Ketherick dirty. I'm sorry, Peepa. I love you. Um... And there's uh, Alfira, Zevlor. I really like the Zevlor. The Zevlor. <laughs> Zevlor is one of my many baby girls. Um, there's Roland and Cal and Leah, and I really fucked up on Leah because it looks nothing like her. Um, Damon, who I wish I put his eyes up a bit higher. Um, then we have Abdrak, uh, Saza. Nocturne and Halson. I don't like this Halson either. I think his eyes are too big. Uh, and uh, Barkus. I really like how this Barkus turned out. I love Barkus. <laughs> it's my little guy. <laughs> I wanna. I wanna. Larry and let me romance Barkus. Anyway. <laughs> uh, one of my friends wanted Stone Mason Kith. Which, you know, why not? It's a, it's a chill dude. Um, Arabella. Mole and Mercon? Yeah, it's the kid you say from the harpies. Uh I really like these. I really Oh my god, what are the colors doing? Anyway. <laughs> Don't you love it when you use natural lighting for your sketchbook doors? <laughs> I love it. I love that it's cloudy outside. Um <laughs> Uh but more of the 100 heads, and these are all um like reference from Pinterest, and they're all marker under sketches with um, pen on top. And I really like how a bunch of these turned out. This one's one of my favorites. So it's this one. It's the yellow page. And I really like the green page. I super like the green page. Because I, I never draw old people. And these turned out so good. These turned out so good. And then, I didn't like this one that much. I do like the Cyclops girly in this one. The others can go. Uh, and then I stopped doing the 100 heads challenge. I made it to 54. <laughs> These are some little figure drawing stuffs. I turned into one. One of my Dragon Ball OCs. Is this some more old art from a college sketchbook? Uh, this is Valentine. This is a, an old sketch I found in that college sketchbook, and then I colored it with watercolors later. <clears throat> um, trying to figure out how to draw the characters for my Dragon Ball comic in my current style. I have not updated my comic uh, since I think March two years ago. <laughs> Oopsie! <laughs> anyway, uh, so there's Taro, Tux, Polaris, and uh, Viola. There's another Taro and a Queen Calliope. And then uh, Taro and Calliope again. Some hammer designs for Don. Because, like, in game, I'm using a sword on him because I like using swords and I need every advantage I can get in a uh, tactician. But when I draw him, I usually draw him with a hammer, because I, I think it fits him a bit more. Uh, there's Els, and Els's brother, um, that D&D session I mentioned earlier that, like, emotionally obliterated me. Uh, yeah, he was not doing well by the end of that, so I had to draw him looking fucked up. Uh, <laughs> I cover this whole page in paint, and I do like this drawing, but I don't like the others. Oopsie. Um, there's some more Illinois. I think I'll go with this outfit in the end. It's like a better mix of a pirate and drow fashion, which is what I wanted from him anyway. Uh, need more, I need better lighting. <laughs> um, yeah, so three Elinoris. Okay. Okay, hear me out. Uh, 
I don't enjoy drawn together as a show. There's like teeny tiny bits in it that made me laugh, but I couldn't get past it. I couldn't get past episode three. It was that cringe. And I'm usually like incredibly immune to cringe, but it was just mean and edgy for the sake of being mean and edgy and don't like it. However, this man, this man is so cute. I wanted to save him so badly. He deserves better. <laughs> Xander, you deserve better. He's so cute. Uh, anyway, so I made an OC based on him. <laughs> this is what I do to cope. This is what I do to cope with good characters going to waste. <laughs> so yeah, I made a character based on him, who I have not named yet, who's gonna be Kahara's uh, older brother. So Kahara's like a chosen of the winds. And his brother is like a little, a little petty about not being the chosen one, but he just expresses it by always lecturing Kahara when he does something wrong. But he just genuinely loves his little brother. Oh, oh my gosh, this is the final page already. <laughs> There's another Kahara, and then I did it to cover these up because I don't like him that much. Just a little couple meme redraws. And yeah, finished it within like. I think, it was, I think it ended up taking me four months, which is pretty good for a sketchbook this thick. Um, wow, I did not plan what I was going to say by the end of this. Yeah, I don't think the other sketchbook is going to take me as long, because it's a lot thinner. But it also It's a lot thinner, but it does. I think it does have more, have more pages, because the paper is quite thin. Uh, but yeah. Hopefully my next upload is not going to take four months. Goodbye!